care who are leaseholders, you know, so they own their properties. The unfortunate thing for them now is I very much doubt they're going to get a market rate for their property. Because who decides the rate that they get? Kensington and Chelsea Council. What happened at the Elephant and Castle redevelopment in South London? People were given so little money for their properties that were being demolished that they had no chance of being able to buy a property in the new builds once they were up. That's what they're doing around here. It is, it is, it is social cleansing. That's yeah, it. They spent 10 million in well, you tell me how you spend 10 million. You know, how did they spend 100 million on a vanity project of a school over there? You know, which is beset by problems. You know, there is an old people's home over here. Their objections to noise were overlooked. There used to be football pitches and grass in that area. You know, so at least kids could kick a ball and maybe get some sun and things like that. And you know, God forbid, if there was an emergency, there was somewhere that fire engines could drive. There is now nothing apart from a narrow road, Grenfell Road, less than 10 foot wide with cars either side. Oh no. Who do you think is responsible for this? Uh, Robert Black, the Chief Executive of Kensington and Chelsea Council, and Nicholas Holgate, uh, sorry, the Chief Executive of Kensington and Chelsea TMO, and Nicholas Holgate, the Chief Executive of Kensington and Chelsea Council, and Councillor Nicholas Paget Brown, who is the current Tory leader of the Conservative group. The Conservatives have been in charge around here since the year gone. We had a Labour councillor living in that block. We've n I've never even seen Victoria Borick when she was MP. I've certainly never seen Councillor Paget Brown. And all he can never understand why we're against regeneration. We're against regeneration because regeneration means that we're moved out. That's what regeneration means. And flats are sold to people who don't even live in them for most of the year. They buy them for tax reasons. And then they leave them sit there. And no one lives in them at all. There are so many homes, not only in this borough, but across London, where people have never even spent a night in them. They are purely bought in order to launder money and to mask money for tax reasons and nothing else. Yeah. You know? Why on earth, why on earth do people need, uh, why on earth do MPs who are in London need a second home? They don't. Why don't they work on giving people who lived in London all their lives a first home? You know? Then we'll worry about them getting a second one. Yeah, yeah. Do you think the Prime Minister